Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Monster High games on the Wii. Monster High Gold Spirit is a pretty good role-playing game, if you're into Monster High Duels. You start the game by creating your own character, there are several categories to choose from like Zombie, Mummy, Werewolf, Vampire, Gorgon and Mashup, which is the Monster High name for Flash Golems. There are some types missing like Merfolks or Ghosts, and customization options include hair, face, skin tone and outfit. But customization options aren't that generous, which is a bummer, especially considering that the source material are dolls. And how cool it is for girls to dress up dolls in various outfits. It feels like a huge missed opportunity here. So after you create your character, you start playing 14 episodes. Six are related to each of the main Monster High girls. The seventh is specifically for your character. The next six are classes you have to attend. And the 14th is specific to the character type you choose. You can complete the episodes in whatever order you want, with the ability to flip within them at will. And episodes consist on minigames and fetch quests. And the minigames are pretty lame in my opinion. You can also talk to students, and when talking you get only two options. You can answer in a positive manner or a negative one. And talking to students boosts your popularity. Also popularity determines the ending of the game. In the Terror Under the Sea Dance episode, depending on your popularity and relationships in the game, you get crowned Scream Queen or not. Overall, the game is pretty good. It uses the source material well, and it's pretty well made too. Young girls would love this game. The customization options are scarce, but in rest I can't hold anything against the game. Monster High School Ultimate Roller Maze is a pretty mediocre game. It feels like some sort of dumbed down Mario Kart clone. Holding down B propels your skater, pushing A uses an item that you ran over, pressing C uses your special power provided your meter is full. The controls are decent, but the content doesn't hold up. You get only 6 tracks and 12 skaters in the game. And in the game you race in teams of 3, which means that all races are 3 laps long and each lap you change your character. Any local multiplayer in this game is a bad joke. In multiplayer, you and your friend are on the same team, which means that one races the lap and the other one just watches. Sounds fun, right? Overall the game is mediocre. I don't recommend to even try it. Only if you're a hardcore Monster High fan, maybe it could work. It's not that the gameplay is bad per se, but the game is too bare bone to be worth playing. Monster High 13 Wishes is a bad joke. The game feels like somebody made it as a school project. The game is so basic, it's shameful to ask 40 bucks for this. Yet, they did it when the game was released. The game is a very bad platformer and trinket collector. The controls are unresponsive and clunky, but that happens in other Wii games. We saw other Wii games that have bad and clunky controls, but what we didn't saw in other bad Wii games is having an almost empty level with a few jumping blocks and long stretches of emptiness. The combat is also unbaked, enemies follow their programmed patterns and even when you approach them and attack them, they still follow their own programmed patterns, they don't really react to you. And your attacks don't even connect. You get some boss battles but with the ugly controls, ugly graphics, stupid AI you can imagine how fun they are. Overall, the game is plain bad. It feels like a ripoff. Some guys in a garage with enough dedication can make a better game than this. If you see this game, my recommendation is to avoid it at all costs. Monster High New Ghoul in school is a little better, but it doesn't stray away from being another walking simulator, like the previous game. I mean seriously, most of the game is just walk to that place, walk to that person, walk to that place to place the poster, walk to class. You get some platforming and some crap mini games, but most of the game is just walking. The graphics are nicer and the customization options are decent, but overall the game is poor. It might, it might work for a fan of the series, a really hardcore fan of the series, 
but for the average gamer or for a gamer that likes high school RPGs, this title should be avoided. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and tell reveal thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.